What's going on? Uh, this is just a quick demonstration of uh, ChatGPT, uh, specifically focused on for teachers. Uh, ChatGPT is a uh, chatbot style uh, artificial intelligence that's been trained on a large language corpus. So it's been given access to functionally infinite, though not actually infinite, number of text site sources. And it's used that to learn how to answer questions and do things. Um, and so when you give it a prompt, it will engage with you. You can use it as a chat bot, certainly. Uh, you can also use it to do some other things. Um, and I just figured it might be useful for some teachers out there who might want to know what kinds of things are possible with this, um, both for you and, and for your students. So I mean, yeah, like it's 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 just a it's just a chat bot. So you can you can do things like um, you know you can say hi to it, right? Fair enough, right? And so what it's doing there is that's not like what it's programmed to say when you say hi, right? It um, it uses all of the rules that it's learned from looking at all these text pieces in order to come up with this answer. So it, it, it probably feels like you're having a conversation with it. Um, we could argue whether or not you're actually having a conversation with it. Uh, many people would say that you're not, right? Um, but I wanna, I wanna like tuck in on, on teacher specific things, right? So um, like, let's, let's do something like this. Like I'm designing a lesson on the heart. What could I do to make the lesson more student centered. Let's ask it that. Let's see what it says. Oh, look, it has an answer um, and a pretty quick answer, right? Um, right, and it's got group work and, and model hearts and so on. Yeah, um, not not terrible ideas, certainly. Uh, let's go. Could you write the lesson plan that I'm designing about the heart for me? Okay. Well, all right. Yeah, so it is giving me a lesson plan about the heart, which is a pretty remarkable thing for it to be doing. Um, yeah, right on. Uh, what could be some free response questions that I could ask about the heart. Let's see what it says there. Oh, we've got a couple possible ones. Yep, sure, why not, right? Um, let's, uh, what are the answers to the questions you just wrote? Oh, we've we've asked it to think a little bit longer than it might otherwise. I don't know if we'll do it. Will it come through? Will it be able to sift through all of that? Oh, it can't. Uh, I don't. Uh, so maybe let's see if we can try this. So it's good to see that it can't do everything, right? But what if we did this? Answer the following question. We pause. Oh, oh wait, so it actually can answer those questions. I just need to change the way I'm asking it. Um, fantastic. You could probably see where I'm about to go with this, but um, like what I've done is I've pulled down this free response question from a recent AP biology exam. Let's paste that in there. Oh no, sorry, I already. I accidentally pasted previously. Let's take this and let's throw that in there. Okay, so there's the question, right? Um, yeah, I think we'll just go like through here, just cleaning it up a little bit. I appreciate that you might never really need to answer this question if you're, if particularly if you're an AP biology teacher, but uh, your students might. Let's see what happens. We'll give it a moment. 
<laughs> it's got to think and make a new answer, right? So, you know, this would take a kid, what, 10 minutes to answer? Maybe 15 minutes to answer? Oh. So, yeah. Okay. I don't know if this is right or not, and actually I've seen it uh, do some things before that are clearly incorrect. I don't know if this is right or not, but the fact that it can spit all of that out in a very short period of time might lead to some interesting thoughts around what assessment might need to start looking like in a particular class. Uh, one thing that's kind of cool that it can do also, and I know this is a little bit in the weeds, but it can write code. So for instance, um, we use vPython to do some stuff, right? So let's let's give it a prompt like write a program that can give an a rectangular object of a set mass a particular velocity and determine its momentum Write a program in vPython. Determine not it is momentum, pardon me. Um, allow the user to vary the mass and velocity using sliders. Let's see what it does. Uh-huh. Yep. So there you go. Um, write a five paragraph essay with citations about the second great awakening. I'm going to uh, stop it here. Um, well, I'll talk while it's, while it's generating its essay. But um, yeah, I think hopefully this demonstrates that this is a really cool tool that's super useful. Um, and that it also uh, gives new avenues for students to find answers to their questions as well. Um, yeah, so um, there you go. Uh, yeah. Hope that's uh, helpful for your day. Take it easy.